What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So Easter, it's finally over and we're gonna go back to basic simple recipe for an everyday recipe. So for today's, I wanna bring you a little bit inside of my family. This is a recipe that I really love. I grew up eating this type of dessert. I'm talking about biscotti della nonna and basically the translation is grandma's cookies. I call it that way because my grandma used to make it for me when I was little and it, most of the time when she used to babysit me because my parents had this weird schedule. My mom is a nurse and my dad is a butcher. So they, when they couldn't like watch me, they used to drop me off at my grandma's and she used to bake me those cookies for breakfast or for a snack in the afternoon. And I remember also spending most of my summer times with my grandma because she leave, she, she lives above a, a boutique a beauty shop where my best friend's mom was the owner. So we used to hang out all the time, all summer long. We used to go to the beach and everything. So this is what she used to make me when I was there for breakfast, those delicious cookies. They're super easy, super delicious. They last up to seven days, as long as you keep it in a Ziploc bag. And you can also freeze them, and once you cook them, you put it in a Ziploc bag and you put it in the freezer, but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna last long because your family and friends are gonna devour those cookies. They're so delicious, especially if you make a nice cappuccino, you dip it in it, or a tea, they're so 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 good so the ingredients are very simple so the ingredients for this recipe what you're gonna need are flour baking powder vanilla powder or vanilla extract milk eggs mini chocolate chips sugar and vegetable oil so first things you're gonna pour your flour into your machine then you're gonna add your sugar the baking powder, the vanilla powder, your eggs, milk, and your vegetable oil. And you're gonna mix until well combined. Once your ingredients are well combined, you're gonna add your chocolate chips. your cookie dough is ready it's time to form your beautiful cookies and what you want to do you're gonna cut a piece like this size you're gonna roll it between your hands and then you're gonna place it on a tray with some parchment paper and that is it and you're gonna do that for the rest of the cookie in the meantime you're gonna pre your oven at 350 Fahrenheit because those cookies are gonna bake for 10 to 15 minutes My cookies have finished to bake. I literally bake it for 15 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit and then I let it cool it down on the counter for about 20 to 25 minutes. And this is the result. I decided to create a little display for you because I think it looks really, really pretty. As you can see, those are ginormous cookies. They're so beautiful. They're tall, they're really light and fluffy. And of course I had to have a cappuccino because those cookies are perfect to dip in it. But first I wanted to show you what it looks on the inside. As you can see, it's super fluffy because of the baking powder and the, the chocolate chips are well distributed around the cookie that didn't fell at the bottom. And now the best part, I'm gonna try it. I think I want the fat one. Yeah, I'm gonna have the fat one like me. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in my cappuccino. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. 
they're out of this world. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My grandma will be so proud. They taste exactly like hers. They're so good. One more bite because why not? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. Mmm. I hope I don't have chocolate all over my mouth, but it's okay. It's worth it. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it because it's super easy, but super, super delicious. And again, all the measurement and the ingredient are gonna be listed in the description box down below as well as my Instagram page, Facebook page, and TikTok page. So don't forget to check it out. And if you wanna share your creation with me by taking pictures, you can tag me at Alice Contadini. I'm gonna leave it right here. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Love you, bye.